In Crusader Kings 3, there are many different Vikings that you can play as. But did you know that there exists more Vikings than these guys? And I'm not just talking about Hastin, my beloved, and not even Rurik Rurikid, man so baller, he had to put his name in twice. You see, there exists another Viking. A Viking put in a precarious position to rise to power, to posture and push through poverty, and find himself pondering the very idea of what it means to be a Viking. That's right everyone, today we are taking a look at Jarl Dyre the Stranger. The Jarl of Könungarder, not to be confused with Holmgarder, Bootleg, Garbage, Bad, squeezed on the shores of the Dnieper River, surrounded by Russians and the Khazar. Jaldir is probably one of the most interesting starts, but not just that. You see, Könungarder is absolutely goated. Our capital is probably one of the best chiefdoms a Viking starts in. We have one, two, three, four, five, six holdings in one county a special building slot for a building you'll see later a dutch building this is a lot of power for us so uh, let's make the tallest viking there ever was you see this guy we're gonna make him taller <laughs> i i didn't mean it like actually taller like that we're talking building tall now when people say building tall or wide in crusader kings what do they actually mean hello everyone my name is coinfish and today i will be teaching you the difference between building tall and building wide west francia and king charles the baldy has a tendency to blob outwards he plays wide having a lot of counties under you instead of one powerful one. Sort of a quantity over quality. While Könungarder plays tall. Instead of having a bunch of counties and a bunch of vassals, you instead go for high development. Now development increases the amount of levies and the amount of taxes you get. So what can you do to increase development? Well, as a Viking, there is a very special way. But first, let's take a look. Who is this look mysterious this stranger? Jarl Dyre is the son of none other than Jarl Halfdan Whiteshirt. But um, who is his mommy? Who is his mom? Nobody knows. That's why he is a bastard founder. My man, you said, to hell with it. I'll go along the river Dnieper and make myself a Viking kingdom. That's why we are the stranger. Because we are a stranger in foreign lands. It also means that we cannot inherit titles. Even if Papa Halfdan here falls off the stick, or rather uh, gets speared by some Wessexian, Ethelred, uh, we're not gonna get smack. So it's just me and my little cool kid here, Halfdan. That's it, I'm named the kid after my dad, very based. So right away, what are our goals and objectives? We are going to found the capital of the Rus. This will establish our position in the region and give us a whole bunch of bonuses for the chiefdom of Königarder, the one that we are trying to grow. We will also need to adopt the feudal ways to properly get all the benefits of having high development. As you can see currently, development is completely ignored, except for its effect on supply limit. I would also like to form the kingdom of Ruthenia. Now this isn't really playing tall, but my objective is just to boost the development to kingdom come in this region. And while we're at it, we might also create a hybrid culture, hybridizing with the Russians. This would make us culture head of our region, but I'll explain more about that later. But for now, let's go into diplomacy. We're gonna need a lot and lots of prestige. Magis is focused for that prestige hit. Since I want to hybridize with the Russian culture, making it easier to assimilate with the people, something that actually probably happened with the people living here, I'm going to go promote cultural acceptance with the Russians. My wife will help me with even more diplomacy, making me an absolute beast when it comes to talking nice. We also don't have to worry that much about inheritance, as all we need is Königarder. Now with our massive goal that we have from raiding, we're gonna start by building. War camps are absolutely broken, as they increase the amount of knights and the knight effectiveness. So let's build those. Let's also see about making more men at arms. The people we'll be fighting will have horse archers. Now those are considered archer cavalry and can only be counted by crossbowmen. Ouch. Most of the people around us though have the Drusina. They are heavy infantry and they are countered by skirmishers. So let's build some light footmen. We have a wonderful position and we are very close to the Mediterranean. So, <laughs> That's where we'll go. I wish to raid myself as well. Like, I'm not gonna raid myself, but I'm the one that's gonna be raiding. Hello, Venice Menace. I am the raiding menace. It is time for you to hand over your goods. Thank you very much. Right away, a nice little ransom. Thank you. Now we hit the other Italians. And a son! Praise be Freya! And you're, you're quick! You're a clever little boy! Let's go, my little child! Welcome to this world! You shall go strong! You shall become powerful. You shall learn how to use the nappy. Wow, best dad award ever. <laughs> Napoli smappoli, give me your gold. Now what can we use all of this gold for? Well, you see, when we hand in a nice large bag of raided gold, we get a bonus to our stewardship. 
which is great. And with the gold, we can keep building stuff. I'm also gonna become friends with this guy, Jorbjörn Ironside. My uncle, of course. Who wouldn't wanna be friends with their uncle? I have one uncle and he's really cool. He drives a truck. All right, that's a nice bit of gold. Very good. But I'm being raided. No, my capital. No, little Hörsak Nutter. We have to get him back. Who, who stole him? Who stole him? Where are you, little boy? <gasps> the Mugir Confederation. Are these like the, fu the future Hungarians? Gosh darn it, give me my kid back. Give me back my child. I am best friends with Jorbjörn Ironside. Very cool. Now to befriend my other uncle. Damn, this is like Christmas simulator. You're just hanging out with your uncles, huh? Tell you what, I'm just gonna murder you. That's it, yeah, I'll stab you. There you go, your queen isn't as loyal, huh? It'd be your own homies. It'd be your own girlfriend. Chuck's to this, I'm gonna go raid the Cagliarians. Yeehaw, a raider's life to me. And I'm friends with my other uncle. How many uncles do I have, huh? Well, I can't talk to all of them. So I'm friends with all the uncles I can get hold of. I guess these are in England. I'm not going there. I'm not even allowed to. I can fight Shift and Gormer? Could I fight him for gold? Sure, fight me. I wanna prove myself. <sighs> this is even. This is real even. Shirts are off, baby. It's about to go down. Strike parry repost, my dude. Oh, oh no, this is bad. I'm losing. I'll do an insane move. He'll never see this coming. Oh, it worked. My form is good, all right. And his stance is formidable. I mean, we're, we're evenly matched. You know what your problem is, huh? You're a, you're a stinking fat man. I have a dagger. Someone might call me mad to critique every aspect of Gormer's life in detail while he attacks me. And uh, it seems to right, because I'm losing. That's bad. Well, uh, I'm sorry, man, but I'm wounded and I shouldn't have done that. Tell you what, let's get a doctor. That's goofy. Why'd I do that? Oh, fire and blood. It's a random chance to trigger when you, when you siege down an area as you're raiding. Now we can capture skilled interns for Königarder, which which absolutely ruins this area, but gives us more progress for, for our next development. So we're gonna do that. Right away, Colonel Gardner is a whopping four development. Oh no, I'm battered, bruised, and 27 years old. Wait, I am 27 years old in real life. It was my birthday just a few days ago. <laughs> this is literally me. Except my wife isn't called Sif. Who could it be now? Who could it be knocking at my door? It's my uncle. No, wait, who is this? That's King Rurik, my friend. Give me, give me a, give me a medium-sized package, huh? A book. A book that's amazing! 10% raid speed? A fancy manuscript detailing the story of Norse adventurers who sailed the west. Oh, that's me! He wrote a book about me! The cover is wood that has been painted to display a repeating image of a wolf's head. How would you how would you make a repeating image of a wolf's head? Midova, please make a repeating image of a wolf's head. Thank you. Wow, I, I really don't pay this this cool guy enough. Hey, as payment, uh, write in the comments down below. Midova is very cool, thank you. Twins! Orga! Orga, you shad! Gosh darn it, I have a little Viking daycare here. Damn, I'm gonna need all of that development because uh, <laughs> I have a lot of kids. I don't raid for gold or fame. I raid for child support. That's enough, we'll go back. We're now distinguished, but we need to get to illustrious. Making this decision is just incredibly great. Grown capital? Sure, not that great. Varangian capital is absolutely amazing. The one plus development growth a month is just huge. And the best part? It stacks. <clears throat> We're gonna go on a pilgrimage all the way to the temple of Jorvik. I'm gonna hang out with my uncle, huh? Hello, uncle. It's me. King Sigurd? Oh, my uncle! Hey, our best friends, my friend. I'm bonding on a pilgrimage. Dude, this is like the most wholesome Viking. That's great. Let's get an odd friend, huh? You become friends with the Basilius of the Byzantium Empire. I'm also gonna defend my land against these raiders. Just stop it right away. You're not gonna get out. Get out of here! Let's start conquering these guys. I'm gonna need them to form the kingdom of Ruthenia anyways, so might as well start gobbling them up. But I guess we could hold off and wait until we have Illustrious. So I'll do that. Ah, another friend. I'm balling at the ball with King Louis of... of, of the younger of Italy, huh? Who's the older? Huh? You're just like me, little scar-faced one-eye. Great feast, my friend. Great feast. Why are we friends? That's a, that's a great question. Why am I still wounded? Where's my doctor? Doctor! You're supposed to be a good doctor, huh? Treat me. Please. Please. Uh, just as my concubine. Damn. Really out here bringing my side chicks hunting. Actual Ohio tactics. Just a snap of a twig. The rustle of a branch. Bird screaming. Caca! 
The Herald announcing its arrival. A massive wolf. Listen, it's my friend, bro. I I, I pet the wolf. I'm like a I'm like a furry tamer. But my brother died. No, he was like a brother to me. <laughs> All right, let's ransom some prisoners and let's form a hybrid culture with the Russians. I absolutely love this system because it's just so goofy what you can make. We'll go with Drusina. This is wonderful because it gives us basically knights. Coastal warrior will always be strong and performative honor are also really great. And northern stories so that we can raise rune stones. That means that we will lose out on ting meat and malleable invaders. We will go for mendicant mystics. Wandering mystics may appear at your court offering boons and criticisms. Bro, you are a Mid ruler, I am literally high on every substance known to man from this side of Bombay to Cathay to Asta, the convenience store. <laughs> also, I banged your courtiers. Damn, I also want to be a mystic. Rasputin over here. Let's go for it. We are the resource. It sounds like I'm trying to say resource, but that no. We are the resource. Very good. The Russian and the Norse. The resource. A new culture. A new people and a new chance for us to actually control the area. That is wonderful. This will make it a whole lot easier to deal with these Russians because they sort of already are on board with what we're trying to do. It also makes us head of our culture, letting us research stuff and to become feudal, which we need to do to really benefit from our high development. We will need 70% of all military and civic tribal era innovations. That is easier now that we control our culture and we pick what we research. Crop rotation, here we go. Tell you what though, I think it's time to marry off some of our children. They might not be that old, but we need to get some cool alliances. Very nice. Now we are properly protected with alliances, but I'm still wounded. That's like so bad. We get a bunch of extra skill points from our perks. Friendly counsel gives us plus two random skill points for each of our friends, up to a maximum amount of five friends. That is 10 free skill points on top of sound foundations. Each living child gives you one random skill point. That means that for from just being in this perk tree, we have gotten 15 free points. We are an absolute powerhouse in most of our skills. Very, very great. Let's build a war camp in every area. That means in seven years, we're gonna explode with military power. Now, please fix my illness. Thank you. And get rid of my wounded. Like I'm literally dying over here. Hell, doctor, doctor, I'm feeling sick. Have you tried eating beets? <laughs> Have we tried getting beaten? <laughs> I need to de-stress, huh? Oh, so you're getting too old. Sorry, this Miss Concubine. If this was any of your uh, mothers, I'm so sorry. But like, we have to get some fresh ones. Actually, we have to go get some fresh ones. It is time for the Viking Dating Simulator. Uh, uh, wife where? Uh, I'm thinking one wife from each part of the globe. We're going to Dubrovnik. I become superstitious. I can't be that. It's nonsense. Stop it. Half done. You stole a cake? Stop that. Damn, we're all the creations at. I should be hitting the capitals. That's your best chance to get people. Any women yet? I mean, I could marry Yurtham Ibn Idris. Sir, I am not swinging that way. I'm not Greek enough for that. That's it. I'm going to Croatia. Man gives up finding wife, goes to Croatia. And that is me finishing the patriarch tree. Very, very good. Now we're gonna go over to scholarship to really hammer in and get all of those innovations as fast as possible. I found a Croatian woman, but she's not ready yet. And she's awfully stupid. It's also contagious. No thank you. But we'll keep this one just for fun. I've stolen a creation. I will keep her as a pet. This game sometimes makes you say the most darnest things. I'm probably on some list. Oh yeah, more development. But still, where are the women at? We're, we're wife. Please keep wife. Oh, oh yeah. I am the terror from Königarder. The Viking trait. Wonderful. Now I can stop raiding myself and actually just like focus on not dying. Tell you what, my court physician gets the boot. I need a new one. Someone that will actually fix my gosh darn hand. Mashir is a Jewish man and is depressed. Everyone wants a Jewish doctor, including me, a Viking. This one will have to do. Oh yeah, Jewish doctor has finally healed my wound. Very, very good. I'm also at war, helping out. Oh yeah, the small landish. We will go in and we will fight. No! No, my father! No, I don't care about these things being built. My father! Papa! Papa, you're half done! Yo! Absolute, absolute inf captured former wife of Björn Ironside. Sorry, Erik and Björn's on my cousin, but I'm gonna sort of, you know, take your mom as a concubine. Very baller, very cool. What a power move. What a power play. Yeah, no, we're gonna go all out for my dad here. Big funeral shit. No! No, I, I, I die because I made a funeral for my... Ah! 
Gosh darn it, I had a ho hitting heart attack. Well, I'm not giving up. Me and my siblings will rule together. I don't care. I'll play tall. That's what we're doing. But gosh darn it, huh? I am by no means a good character like my father. But hey, I'll have to do my best. Wow, that is ironic. Dying because of my father's funeral. Tell you what, I'm just gonna go home and defend my own country. Sorry, Sweden. And now I'm ill? Help me, Jewish doctor. Oh, come on. They stole my concubine? Give her back. Give her back, gosh darn it. It's the goddamn Hungarians again. Stop. The war is turning once again. And there's more raiders. I'll personally go mess them up. Come here. That's a big problem. It's actually a really big problem. Now we're so far away from distinguished. Uh-oh. It seems we lost anyways. Despite our best efforts. Let's raise a runestone anyways. Why not? We're gonna need a foothold. I'll take over these. That will give us an easier way to get troops into Sweden if we need to. That's right, everyone. I'm already doing the very Russian thing of wanting to take over Gotland to control the Baltic Sea. Very, very accurate. I've also encountered a slight problem. You see, to found the capital of the Rus, I need to have a North to Germanic heritage. Newsflash, I messed up. But I have an idea. We now control Gotland. Gotland is Norse. I move my capital to Visby. I now live super hard. And I mean like really hard. By having a huge bloat. Since I'm arrogant, I'm gonna rub my shoulders with the common muck. That's gonna make me super stressed. Super stressed means that, oh yeah, I'm a lunatic. That also means that I can uh, take the easy way out. Goodbye. I'm gonna sip the tea. Sorry wife, but I have somewhere else to be. I have an appointment. Ta-ta. Can't miss it. Goodbye. What? That makes me Jarl Tosti. This guy's great because not only is he quick, but he's also strong. And look at that face, man. That is a face only we can love. He has great traits like gregarious, diligent, and greedy. This gets us closer to our goal. While we're slowly waiting for our children to turn to a different religion, we will be raiding the absolute hell out of Bavaria. Queen Wilhelmina, you are an absolute share of a woman, but I'm gonna have to steal your gold. Thank you very much. So many children, and all of them being educated to become Norse. This one will send to Sweden. Very good. We are rich, we are powerful, and our Jewish man is now our chancellor. Tada! Very wonderful. While we're at it, and already wasting characters. We're gonna take over Haluk. We're gonna subjugate them. This will be easy, especially with the Estonians to come and help us. The golden Jorvagn! You're literally educating my little boy! What are you doing? You fiend! You bastard! He took... No! Get my kids out of prison! Stop! And what's this war? Stop! Stop! One war at a time. Take it slow and steady. First of all, get my... Get my gosh darn air out of your prison right now. Second, did I inherit some war? What is this? What is this conflict? Sure, nobilian conquest of Babryunsk. Bababoy. Let's focus down the important person first. And ransom back our kids. Why would you do this? My children! You little viking! That's a lot of land subjugated. Thank you very much. Kurnungardr has grown. Uh, but with it, we also inherited like a bunch of wars. Oh no. Estonia, come and help me. We're best pal. Good friend. Buddy pal. Boom! Easy war. Get out of here. A holy war? Bihar? Bihar, Yavastje pirates. Stop! What is this madness? War. War is a terrible thing. White peace. Stop. I just, I just wanted to do the funny little viking thing. Rorik. Oh my god. What's happening? Why am I fighting? Why am I fighting at Chernobyl? <laughs> please, please, I just, I just wanted to play the funny Vikings, Crusader Kings, calm down. Thank you. Woof. War over. Peace in our time. Let's raise a runestone in Chernobyl. Absolutely radiant. Let's go. My heir is Norse. That means I can finally educate him myself. You don't convert his culture, all right? Hello, little boy. Let's give you a proper uh, war education. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Now, all I have to do is make sure this guy grows up, stays Norse, and, uh, and I fall off the stick. What would also be advantageous is that if we could uh, give him a gr- Oh, no, my Jewish doctor has died. I guess he's in Jewish heaven. I don't actually know anything about the Jewish heaven. Is that a real thing? Look away for a second, and uh, the Kassors have sort of gone- Oh, look, Morrowind. Nice. Well, you know what that means? That's right. This guy is getting his Dutch smunked. Thank you very much. We will ensure that our son gets the power he deserves when it's our time to go in. Rush over the border. Wait, I've seen this one. <laughs> All right. 
As long as our son stays north, we'll be completely fine. That's great. We're being attacked, but there comes the Estonians, saving us in the nick of time. I inherited a morsel of St. David. Huh? What? That is disgusting, but also kind of cool. Can I eat it? First bit conquered. Sappers, my favorite perk. We'll make short work of these tribes. And we will take Periaslavlerl. Thank you very much. Wow, that's a lot of land. Let's give that to one of our sons. There you go. Best of luck, kid. Yo, Mystic showed up. Demid Kromsky. <laughs> a monk. Is rare enough for me to get a chance for a quiet meal without psychopaths or matters of state interrupting. But tonight I vanish it. And then this guy shows up. The door bursts off its hinges with a tragic inevitability. And a goodie barges into the room. Somebody once told me. <laughs> he has a gnarled walking stick, still covered in splinters from battering down the door. Who is this Chad? Noble Jarl, I've come with an offer. For a small stipend, I, Demid, will share knowledge of our people's ancient ways with your children. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fine. Take the money and leave, but repair my door. Bruh. Did he, did he seriously just do that? What a shad, huh? What a shad. I'm now reckless. Nice. Just like in real life, me, the player. Uh oh, oh. Levedia is attacking me. I've not seen this many Jewish people since I was in New York. And I haven't even been to New York. There are many youths in the forest. I must defend myself from them. With the Danes. Yes, the Danes shall help us. Uh oh, I ate the morsel of St. David. Uh oh, the horse lords are here. And they seem very, very angry with me. Why do I hear throat singing? Is my son maimed? No! Who's my next of kin? Oh, well, this guy. He's still, he's still Norse. Oof, I was worried there. Come on, fight the horse lords! Uh, that's enough. I used white piece is perfectly fine. I just want you out of here, please. And I want to form the king. Kingdom of Ruthenia. Very, very good. All right. Time to make the kingdom of Ruthenia. Very great. I'm now a mighty king. Uh, but I've noticed something. What happened to the Byzantine Empire? What? What, what? what happened to... What happened to Francia? Oh my lord. Every time I focus too much on like one area, the rest of the world just goes like, all right fam, watch this. And it just explodes. Oh my lord. What happened? What happened? Oh well, all we have to do now is uh, fall over and die. So that our Norse character can take over. Very good. Running away from my... Wow. Relatable Crusader Kings. This is literally me. <laughs> no. No. Who's my new heir? All right. He's also Norse. That made me stressed. I'm gonna fall off the stick. I'm gonna fall off the stick so hard. Bring me the Norse tea. Hey, kid. I'm doing this for you. Watch this. <laughs> That must have been traumatic, but at least I'm, I'm back to being Norse. That means that I can found the capital of Rus. All of that because I wanted to goof off. Huh? Koi fish, you are immensely stupid and a buffoon. Stop this chicanery. All right, it is time for the enterprising Norse to come from Scandinavia through the rich rivers. Countless settlements and minor realms vie for power. Slavic and Norse alike. Only one can truly represent the unification of two people. I am the founder of the capital of the Rus. From the Volga to the Dnieper and beyond, Varangians ply the rivers and byways of the lands of the East Slavs. We raid, we conquer, we intermix with the local. One of those sounds way more wholesome than the others. When we feel the need, we found new settlements or take them by force. Till today, these minor hubs have all competed to attract adventurers and warlords, seeking to attain true primacy over the rest of the Rus. No more! By the mighty deed and the fierce reputation, I shall attract Norse and Slavs alike, building a capital worthy of Ruthenia. Very cool! Very great. Oh yeah, this will absolutely skyrocket the growth of development. It is insane how quickly this will be. It, right now it only offsets the tribal government downside. We need to make also true an organized faith. Now how do we do that? Well you see, Koifish is not as stupid as he looks. Most of the time he's even worse, but no. I hold one of the holy sites right here in Könungar. That means that I only need two of them to reform the Ostatru faith. So let's start conquering the holy sites. First, the chiefdom of Strandheim. Easily able to raise our troops on Gotland. Go in and hit him fast. Hit him hard, hit him fast. We're making a kingdom that will last. And just like that, we have taken the capital. Boom, very good. We now control two holy sites. One here and one all the way over here. We'll take the one in Uppsala. Once again, raised armies, real nice and real close. Let's start by hitting the capital. Oh my lord, huge battle, go! No! How could we lose? Come on! Double mental break too? Are we pushed back here? Oh, come on. That's it. We call in all the Swedes. Through the power of friendship, we will stop the Danes. Come here. Go. Come on. Pile in. We must crush 
them! Quickly! Alright, they still hold the war target, which means we should probably rush up and take it. Come here! We can do this together! It's like a high school musical! We're all in this together! Except this time we're fighting the Danes! Boom! All of the holy sites are held by me! Woo! At something! I mean, this is... It's, it's derailing so gosh darn hard! I'm trying my best to stay on track! I just, I was gonna do some development stuff, but now I'm here in Norway! Koi fish, what happened? I don't know, man. It all sort of slipped out of my grasp. We now have everything we need, except for a boatload of peat. We're already pushing to get the profit perk, which would reduce it by half. And we do have a way out in case we need to. That is a whole lot of prisoners. Oh yeah, it's peat time. I will now also safely convert back to the local culture, becoming a source. That makes me the head of the culture, letting me pick what we research. Yo, a fine book about books? <laughs> Hey, please read this book. Oh, what's it about? Books. <laughs> book stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're earning a lot of piety. Uh-oh. Critical stress. Yeah, tell you what. I'll become a lunatic. That's fine. Uh, the voices know the real truth. The voices were my friend the whole time. <laughs> We're raiding Constantinople. Let's see what we can get. Old woman. Yeah, no, not exactly a great score, but hey, some people would be happy to pull that. And we have profit. Very, very nice. Now, reforming the faith is not that expensive. We will go for peace and prosperity. Ancestor worship. Megalithic conversions. Oh yeah, that's some good development growth. And mendicant preachers. Reform the faith. And look at this, woman pope. Let's go! All we need now to become feudal is absolute tribal authority, which we can get by just clicking this thing. Oh yeah, it's time to become feudal. Damn, I don't think I've gone feudal from tribal in like a very long time. I am the king of Ruthenia. We are now proper men. And we can build the Golden Gate of Kiev. All we need is the Battlements innovation. But first, I'm gonna build a great megalith with increased development by a whole lot. Oh yeah, it has started. <clears throat> oh yeah, Konungardur has stacked a bunch of rocks. And even in our temples, we will stack rocks. More development equals more power. We're currently up to 12. Look at all of these modifiers. It's absolutely insane. Now you see what it's better to play tall. All of those levies. All of the taxes. Oh yeah, that is a lot of monthly growth. <clears throat> what in the gosh darn? The time has come once again for me to attempt to produce a child with my wife. Damn, I you already have a lot of kids, man. Calm down. But as I prepare for another night of passionless lovemaking, she stares me down with a terrifying look in her eyes. And yeah, it looks pretty terrifying, all right. Conventional lovemaking is such a chore. Wouldn't you agree? Have you ever considered what it feels like to be on- To, to be the ground in our bedroom? Those bare feet pressing down on you? Just being an object to be used and stepped on by others? Paradox! What in the gosh darn self kink insert development is this? Oh, there is one person at Paradox HQ being like, Hey, guys, wouldn't it be like hilarious if we added like this kink to the game? Like, ah, totally whack, right? And then the person just adds it. No! I don't wanna be the ground! Stop! Uh, no thank you. But just look at this. Our development is racing up. We're just building like absolute crazy. And we're gaining these technologies at an alarming rate. Look at that. Just 10 years, that's nothing. Because we have 35 learning. Oh yeah, that's a lot. From here on, you could do some absolutely crazy stuff. All we have to do now is just wait. And this development is gonna shoot up to 100 real quick. From here on, all you have to do is to stay on top of the technologies. Keep making rulers that have better and better learning. This will make the technologies go real, real quick. Now, to not draw this out any longer, let's do one last adventure with King Alfred the Hunter, who is not that far away from the descendant of John Dyre, our starting character. Very cool. Oh yeah, it's time to conquer Rome. Rome, Shmoom, Pope Clemens, I will take your capital and I will use all of the all-star characters from this anime. The tour of people, the Novgorodians, Rurik, my old friend, the Estonians, Melis, Melis the second. Oh, I fought with Melis the first. The Danes. And these guys who I have absolutely no idea, but they made like a super cool kingdom up here. Boom! That is a lot, a lot of people on our side. Raise all of the armies. We shall converge on Rome like a holy fury. Not to be confused with a holy furry, the most Catholic of deviants. We'll wait here. Our allies shall soon come. We just have to wait for a little bit. Wait for all of those people to come. A stormy! That's the force! We push in. Come on, land on us! Help! Help! We're winning! We're beating Rome! 
Let's go! Quickly, siege! Siege! We have to be careful. They will smite us at any chance. Move it, move it, move it. We'll go in there and help. Three years to sack Rome. Oh no. Oh no, our armies are like waning. We don't have enough troops. I need another ally. Child, get married. You, you're not in this war. Come, come help me. We're fighting Rome. We have to win. It's so even. No. All right, that's one little pushback. That's not too bad. No, no. My son. My son! How did he get captured? And my army stacked by... No! Well, uh... Maybe the Rome... <gasps> no, I know it! The Rome wasn't Rome in Rome! It is this city! We had it in us all along. Könunga Rome. And with that, my friends, I think I will end it here. Dear the Stranger was honestly one of the craziest playthroughs I've ever done. I love Crusader Kings, when you're like, going for one goal, but the game is like, no. The Khazars split. The Byzantines split. The Europe, Frisia for a long while, believe it or not. Oh my lord. That is honestly when Crusader Kings is at its peak. This has been Coyfish playing Jaldir the Stranger of Königarder. How to put the grounds down for a really powerful, tall Viking kingdom. Hope you liked this video. If you did, leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, I, I don't know, guys. Just be nice to each other. Yeet!